Hi, my name's Emma Stevens, and I work with the Adelaide and Mount Lofty Rangers Natural Resources Management Board. And we're down here at Maslin Beach today, a beautiful day down at the beach, and we're hanging out here with the Hooded Plover volunteers. Hooded plovers are a beach nesting bird, and they're endemic to southern Australia. In South Australia, we have about 600 birds left, and on the Flurio Peninsula, in particular, we only have about, or less than 70 hooded plovers left. We know of about 22 breeding pairs dotted across the Flurio Peninsula. They face a number of natural threats. For example, high tides can wash away their nests, or a big storm surge can wash away their nest. They also have a number of natural predators, such as seagulls, Pacific gulls, ravens, kestrels, and they also have introduced predators such as foxes and cats. We use these um, nest cameras to capture photos of uh, the hooded plovers incubating their eggs and of eggs hatching and chicks coming out. Uh, at Shelley Beach we actually captured uh, three chicks hatching from that nest and at Tunkalilla we showed oh the camera showed that um, the hooded plovers actually abandoned the eggs because it had been so hot that the eggs actually cooked. And then two days later, a fox came past and actually ate the eggs. One of the greatest threats to hooded plovers is disturbance. What will happen if a, um, an unleashed dog or um, someone is walking towards a hooded plover, it will jump up off its nest and lead that threat away from its nest. And that means that the eggs or the chicks are left vulnerable to the elements, so that the eggs could literally cook in the sun, or the chicks are then vulnerable to predators such as kestrels who might swoop down and pick, pick them off while the adults are away, um, leading other threats away. We originally started when we first moved over here and we were walking on the beach and we used to see the birds here uh, and you'd see them getting hassled by dogs um, people, unfortunately they'd uh, nest and the nests would be destroyed. Uh, and then uh, when the uh, Birds Australia and the NRM board wanted people to volunteer to uh, look after the birds here, my wife and I uh, joined the system about four years ago. So the, the role of the hooded plover volunteers is to monitor their local hooded plover breeding pairs and they fill out data sheets on a regular basis. Um, they fill out information about the, the nests and the chicks present and also the threats on the beach. This information is then sent to BirdLife Australia and their volunteers enter the data into a database. And then the NRM board provides funding to BirdLife Australia staff to actually analyse that data and put it into a breeding success report. Uh, the birds are usually found in small numbers only. They're very territorial, so you'll only usually see two or three at a time. Um, they're quite easy to identify because they have these very distinct black heads, um, red feet and a red beak. Right, so the breeding season lasts from approximately August uh, right through to, to uh, February or March. Um, they take about uh, almost a month, 28 days to, uh, for the eggs to hatch and then the uh, chicks can feed themselves right from the word go. They're not fed by their parents like many other birds but they can't fly for another 35 days. Uh, and that's the time when they're particularly vulnerable because they must move over the beach to find places to feed. Uh, normally they're little small invertebrates that uh, they find, particularly under the seaweed that gets washed up on the beaches. Um, part of our job here now is that we look after the birds in the start of the breeding season and uh, once we see the first signs of starting we usually now fence this whole area off. So these fences literally prevent people from accidentally crushing the nests and the signs inform people why the fence is there and it also asks people to leash their dogs just within the fenced area. Uh, once the chicks have hatched we put up another sign saying that the chicks are now active and on the beach. Uh, this means that people have to be a little bit more aware because they're not just confined to the uh, nest area, they'll move all over the beach because they need to find food to feed themselves of course. Also during the year uh, on almost all the beaches where the plovers are in here, the NRM board has been running uh, dogs breakfasts or other uh, activities on the beaches to try and introduce people to the birds. And this has been quite a successful thing. They've had that on, run these on most beaches and they've uh, quite good attendances there. And we're generally getting the public uh, 
more and more aware of what the birds have been here uh, and uh, what they can do to protect them and uh, preserve them here. So you get that sort of satisfaction of knowing that here you are uh, contributing to a species that was in great decline, that was lost from many beaches in these areas. Uh, and now as we're breeding birds off successful beaches, they're moving out and we're seeing birds on beaches where there hasn't been hooded plovers for 10 or 20 years. Uh, and that's very heartening to, to know that the work you're doing is actually having an impact on the success of these little guys. So the NRM Board's Hooded Plover Program is all about working with other agencies and volunteers. So we work closely with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and also with the local councils in the area, so City of Onkaparinga, District Council of Yankalilla, City of Victor Harbour and Alexandrina Council. We also receive a lot of support and advice from BirdLife Australia and of course the volunteers are key to making this project successful. We always need new volunteers, so if you want to help out in the Hooded Plover program, give the Adelaide Mount Lofty Rangers NRM board a call. Show.